Elective Rotation Podcast, Critical Care Pharmacy Minute, where I discuss one critical care pharmacy thought in about one minute. I'm Pharmacy Joe of PharmacyJoe.com. Treatment of severe hyperkalemia should follow a three-step process. In my experience, a pharmacist at the bedside can play a significant role in ensuring the steps are followed in the proper order. And the steps are, number one, protect the cardiac membrane with IV calcium. Number two, hide the potassium from the heart. Number three, remove the excess potassium from the patient. IV calcium works within minutes to protect cardiac membranes from the deleterious effects of hyperkalemia. That's why it should be given first before any treatments to lower the potassium. Step two is to hide the potassium from the heart by moving it intracellularly. The intracellular concentrations of sodium and potassium are essentially the reverse of the plasma concentrations. This is why a couple extra MEQ of potassium doesn't do any harm inside cells. The strategies for moving potassium inside the cells are IV insulin, followed by IV dextrose to prevent hypoglycemia, high-dose nebulized albuterol, and IV sodium bicarbonate. The effects of these treatments will not last more than a few hours as potassium re-equilibrates and leaves the cells back into the plasma. And that's why the third step is to remove the excess potassium from the patient. For severe hyperkalemia, the treatment of choice for this is hemodialysis. My Hospital Pharmacy Academy will help you take your clinical pharmacy skills to the next level. To learn more, go to pharmacyjoe.com slash academy.